my name is John Lewis Rice, and I am a uh, certified orthodox prosthetist, and I'm uh, certified in um, in both boards, in both both in orthotics and prosthetics. So I make artificial limbs and braces. I've been doing this for 33 years. I met Arnold Schwarzenegger because his mother-in-law got in a car accident and I had to see her as a patient for a knee brace. All right, so basically what happens when this when we start, a patient will come in from the doctor's office from a referral source and they're typically an amputee. We, I will do a, a kind of assessment of what, how functional they are. If they can stand on one leg, um, if they're cognitive, cognizant enough to uh, put the leg on. Um, so they come in, I'll take a cast of their limb and then I will go, th you know, kind of through the process of determining what kind of foot they get or if it's an above the knee, what kind of knee they get. Um, some of the knees that we have are for, like this is for uh, a patient who is less active, maybe a, um, an older person who uh, just needs more stability. And then this type is for a, 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 a fairly active person. This is a hydraulic knee unit. Um, and it's, you, could, you can run on it and do all sorts of good things, but it's, it's super heavy duty. So anyway, after I take the cast, then I fill it with plaster. So what are you doing with this? This is it to mix the plaster. Um, plaster pairs. Just the, we just buy it in bulk. And uh, we go through about 500 pounds every two weeks. Um, this is a pretty small cast. This is vermiculite. And it just makes it easier to modify. Give it a little stir. And then pour it in my cast. like so um, and then once the plaster hardens then we'll strip off the cast and I'll modify it all right so I'm just gonna smooth out areas and reduce the, the mold a little bit and I do buildups over bony prominences. And then we'll go from there to pulling some plastic over it and vacuum forming it to make a test socket. Something I can see through make sure that nothing's rubbing or bumping. I'll have the patient walk in it a little bit just to check it out, make sure everything's all good. And then if, if that works out, then I take that test socket, fill that with plaster, and then I'll laminate it and do a, a final lamination. Um, we use a lot of carbon fiber um, for that. Now we're using a, we use a material that's made out of volcanic ash that is a braided material, looks like carbon fiber, just as strong. The test socket, so this is above knee amputation. This guy was in a motorcycle wreck, lost his leg. This is a limb vise. Got a nice steering wheel on it. This is my pogo 
glow stick that I set this up on so I can have them stand and then put weight on it and then I can do all my mods and drawing on that. Then uh, they come back, the test socket gets filled again with plaster. I will do any modifications that I need to do from the test socket. And then I put it in a lamination stand, which is like what we use to pull the uh, plastic. With this one, uh, this one has, the last layer was uh, a fabric, and this is just a cotton fabric. That would be the last layer that goes on it. Once I pull the resin down in there and string the resin all nice and smooth, uh, within about 12 minutes, um, it, the lamination will harden and then I can cut and grind it. Then I'll have the cut and I'll have the completed socket. Um, I'm wearing scrubs today because I'm doing a couple of castings on patients and my regular clothes just get so filthy. You know, it feels like it's, that's kind of cool. You get to wear pajamas to work every day. <laughs>